Hey everyone, welcome back to Rain Code. And last time we started up the Mystery Labyrinth for Chapter 4, and I've gotta say, I don't think I've ever been conf so confused at a murder case before. Like, what is happening? I have no idea. Like, I just genuinely don't know how the culprit could have pulled this off. It's, uh, it's really weird because there's no way you could have gotten in to the, uh, the in through the security unless the doctor let you in which is the working theory is that the doctor was letting the culprit in for some reason but i don't know we're just gonna have to go in the go into the elevator and see so if i didn't know about the security and had rushed into the lab we would have been fine oh right boy Aww, so close. you want that but the doctor's plan failed, and he actually got boom killed by the hitman. But did it fail, though? I still, I don't know. Get what he was trying to do, but what about the impossible murder? I mean, he ended up dying at some point, which probably wasn't what he wanted. But again, did the doctor just let the hitman in, thinking it was going to be like someone to help him Assuming or whatever? the attack on the doctor was just an act when we saw him through the intercom. We at least know for sure the real attack hadn't happened yet. Yeah, but it happened like immediately after. In other words, the culprit entered the lab after that exchange. That's the problem. So the problem is, when did they uh, actually enter? And still how? Here we are again. <laughs> Into heaven we go, the bright lights. Curtain. Oh. Oh, wait, what, what's happening? Wh where are we? Oh my god! <laughs> this place is a real mystery. Oh, look at this! Then again, I suppose that checks out. Ah, oh, little cardboard cutouts. That's really cool. Huh? Shinigami? Where's Shinigami? Yeah! Oh, hi. This looks like an I'm fine. Oh, this looks like a puppet show. I love this aesthetic. It's so cool. So, is that your final answer? I have they look like Danganronpa yet. characters now. Like, actually just look like sprites. The culprit entered the lab before on the pal. Oh, that's not even a question. Okay. Got it. <laughs> but... Master, you need to narrow down the timing for when the culprit got inside. At, before on pal, we know now that. Then, but like... here's our fateful fork in the road. It's life or death. <gasps> Actually, hold on. Oh, I just came up with something. You think the culprit was like... No, but we were right, we were right there, right? We wouldn't notice. I don't know. I was just saying maybe the culprit like went in like as we were solving all the puzzles with Amapal. But then the culprit couldn't have gone through the gas chamber, so I don't know. We are at the crossroads of mystery and solution. This earth-shattering choice may be your last. Yep, thanks for the word confidence. Which one will you choose? I love that they actually look like little Danganronpa sprites now. They're, they even have the poses. The culprit entered the lab before Amapel. <sighs> Am I gonna say no? I'm gonna go with my theory. I feel like it's too obvious for it to be before Amapel. I'm gonna go with my theory that the culprit somehow managed to like just get through as we were as we were like de right. The culprit got through as we were deactivating all the traps with Amapel. Even after like we deactivated the, the gas, so the culprit could just, just got in after that. Sure, I'm gonna say it. Am I dead? Was that no? Oh, it wasn't it. Okay, fine. Fine. I directed Amapel to go into the doctor's lab. He already had a knife stuck in him. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sorry. Which means he was murdered before Amapel entered the doctor's All right. lab. Alright, I'm an I'm a dumb idiot, it's fine. Your answer? We know it's right because the other one wasn't. Hello? Is correct. Yay. Congratulations! Where's the clapping? Yes, give me more money, please. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Okay, that was a fun little thing. Little by little, we're narrowing down when the culprit entered. Yeah, but we still don't know how yet. 
It had to be between when we spoke to the doctor over the intercom and when Amapel entered his lab. Hmm. During that time, the culprit entered the doctor's lab and murdered him. I don't know. Actually, so that's it! When you went to borrow no, I, I think I'm right still. Hang on. The culprit had to have entered the lab then. I think I'm still, I can still be right. Fubuki I'm gonna let the front them... Chamber while Desuhiko and I went to borrow Amapel. I'm gonna let them, like, she talk. no one entered or left the lab. But I have a thing to say. Remember, while we were, like, super busy, like pushing the door open and we couldn't see anything past that point, that's when the culprit maybe who was trailing behind Amapel could have gone in, killed the doctor, and left. Maybe he could- could they have done all that while we were, like, opening the door? I don't know, that might be a short amount of time, but- Ah, my crazy theories. I'm thinking about it. <sighs> Alright, here we go. I'm just back here again! We've already been here. Huh? We're back on the original path. Maybe you're supposed to try opening that door now. I'm sure that from here on out, it's not just about when. Yeah. But also it's always been about how. That's always been the main question. That's you the entire are. point. There's no need to push yourself if things get too hard. No, I can do it. I'm going to solve it. Hmm. <laughs> And death. Where was the culprit before the crime? This is gonna be the big one. All right. Oh, we got a map. This is. Okay, that's all the like the little puzzles and stuff. Critical lab. Yeah. So we have to determine where the culprit was before the murder. We'll have to solve them one at a time. Let's start with this mystery. If we know where the culprit was before they got in, this route will be clear too. Do you know where, Yuma? Uh, I feel like I... Alright, well, I mean... Where was the culprit before the crime was committed? I mean, surely they were in the lab, right? But I don't know if that's exactly before the crime was committed. Honestly, they could have been... Here. Yeah, they were hiding in the vents! I, I think my theory oh, checks right. out. Must have been here. I think my theory checks out about how they were hiding in the vents. We got in through Amapel, then they started following behind Amapel, making sure not to get seen. And then the we deactivated the gas chamber as Amapel, so they got through that. We opened the door, and then we got super busy opening the door because it took so long that Desuhiko even made note of how long the door took to open, which means the game wanted us to remember. So, yeah, I, the culprit got in through then. I think that's right. Boom! I think I'm right. Yay, it opened! After the exchange on the intercom, given there was always a detective at the front chamber, when we went to borrow Amapel, the culprit had to have already made their way inside. But the airlock is the only location that isn't affected by the security system. There. The culprit had to be inside that decontamination device before committing the crime. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're figuring something out here. I thought he was just hiding in there to avoid being spotted after the crime. So you think the culprit was in there before the crime too? Yeah. Yeah. It had to the be. The culprit was waiting for their chance. But we had no idea when we sent Amapel into the airlock. The culprit just went in behind and Amapel. There, Yuma, you guided Amapel to the doctor's lab. So the culprit entered the doctor's lab before Because the that. door! How would that be possible? Only Amapal could get past security, right? Yeah, and we got past security yeah, with the, the culprit right behind us. So it might as well... We literally just led the culprit into the crime the scene. Nope. It's no. much simpler than that. I, I'm going all in. I'm 100% sure my theory is correct. Which means there literally can't be anything else. You Surely. Was the only one that could get past security. So the culprit must have taken advantage of Master's Amapel to get into the doctor's lab. Yeah, that's the only way. But how did they use it? They just went behind it and made sure. No solving the doctor's murder until we figure that out. 
Well, I have an idea. Oh. Will you hear me out? What is it? How about giving <laughs> up? Let's just go I'm home. Come on, it's not worth it. Nope, motion denied. Oh, here we are. Is it is it uh Yomi? Is he here? Oh, hello. All right. Another fork in the road. Such a Here we go. This is gonna be the choice, I think. How did the culprit use I'm a pal? All right. In each problem lies the truth. Mm, as a shield. Closer to the heart of this mystery. As a shield, they let Amapel go through all the traps and then just and then just like went in after we solved them. That's it. We. That means it's technically our fault. We led the culprit directly to the crime. Oof. Amapel is a shield. Amapel is supposed to be sturdy enough to withstand an elephant stepping on it, right? The culprit may have used Amapel as a shield against the security system. So, the culprit followed behind yep. Amapel to avoid the toxic gas and explosions? I get it! You're so smart, Master! Really? I don't <laughs> think so. Hey, give me some credit, please. I got this all before you. Just showed off how smart and logical he is. Oh, there he is! <laughs> oh, I love on the pal. No, no, we can still do this. All right, toxic gas chamber can be bypassed with on a pal. Uh, yes. What do you yes. mean? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. We literally did it. I guess. Okay, that I don't get this question because we did. What do you mean no? We went through it. Yeah. Even if Amapel itself is fine, it wouldn't be able to protect the culprit from the toxic gas. So the culprit just waited, right? Am I? Was I wrong? Was I actually wrong? High voltage shocks can be bypassed with Amapel. Absolutely, yes. What do you mean? After we literally, like, did all the, like... The culprit could again, the culprit could have just, like, looked at which path we took. Even though Amapel is sturdy, it couldn't withstand the high-voltage shock from the panel chamber. Okay, but we got the things all right, so the culprit would have just seen that. None of this denies the theory. Well, maybe the toxic gas one, because the, the door's closed, that's the thing. But, oh man, was I actually wrong then? So it's neither. Wait. Which means it'd be impossible to use Amapel to protect yourself. That's not, yourself. they didn't literally use Amapel to protect themselves. They, Amapel got through the toxic gas, and then the culprit waited until the gas disappeared, and then went through. And then Amapel did like the sequence, and the culprit just imitated the, 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 the sequence that Amapel did. Like, come on. You're only realizing this now. At this rate, you'll be a grandpa before you stop being a rookie. Am I an idiot then? Perhaps Was I actually just wrong? In the next life. I'm trying my best in this life. Then what? I don't get how you use Amapel as a weapon. So I'm gonna go with neither. I'm gonna say neither. But then what? What do you do with neither? You think neither is really the right answer? Oh. Given the process of elimination, that must be it. How do you use Amapel as a weapon anyway? Amapel's hands aren't designed to hold anything. Yeah. So it couldn't use the knife to murder the doctor. Which means Amapel wasn't the murder weapon. No. And the culprit couldn't have used it as a shield. It can't neutralize the toxic gas. And the high voltage shock would destroy it. But the, it didn't because we went through so it with Kabuki's power. Did the culprit use Amapel? I'm not wrong. I think we'll find out if we continue down this path. 
<laughs> oh goody, here we go again. Huh? That was the wrong answer? Come on, master. Is it gonna be another one? Or are we just back here? Oh whoa, 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 whoa. We're we're back even further? Oh my god. We've been here before. Yep. I know. It looks like we've been brought back. Again, for the third time we're the here. The door we opened earlier is closed again. Why's that? Yeah, I wonder why. Hmm. Well, I mean, hmm. Again? Was I just wrong about the entire the thing? Question is the same. Does that mean we got to do it all over again? Does it? Well, the logic is still sound. There's no other hiding spot for the culprit besides the airlock. Unless what? So you want to choose the same answer and keep going? Unless it really was like, did the doctor have any kind of like robot arm machine in that lab that could have stabbed him in the back three times? If you do, <laughs> you'll just repeat the whole process again. We'll just be brought back here if we can't figure out how did the culprit use Amapau? I mean... And I refuse to walk any more than I have to. Hey! Don't sit down! What should I do? Stand up! Stand up right now! Stop it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me die. If you want me to leave you alone, then help my useless master out! Is it time? Is it time for, like, the scene that every character gets in these labyrinths where they just go off? <sighs> and, be and actually be a detective for once? Just one thing, then. Let's go, baby. Yeah. We're back at. Where was the culprit before the crime? Because you're stuck at. How did the culprit use Amapau? With that in mind, these two questions are connected. What's happening with the microphone right now? All right. I don't know. Something's weird. Connected? Both the culprit's location and how Amapel was used? Help him out more! More, more, more! <laughs> the culprit was hiding in the <laughs> He's airlock, so dead, dude. <laughs> where you also left the robot, right? At that moment, only the culprit and Amapel were there. So maybe the culprit did something. Hmm. The culprit did something to Amapel? What do you mean? Do they like what? Clues are always there, right under your nose. It's a detective's job to notice them. Did you notice anything strange back then? Any tiny detail? Hmm. Try to remember. I'm trying. Something strange. Hey, now that you mention it, back then. What? Hold on. Should hey, I remember? the screen lit up. So this is what I'm a pal sees. I can't, yeah, I can't move it's more. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. First of all, the battery was at 75%. I don't know if that's anything, but... Oh, yeah, because we glitched out. That? Yeah, we did glitch out for a second there. I remember now. Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. Why? What happened? What did the culprit there do? There was a moment when the camera stopped functioning while I was controlling Amapel. It returned to normal pretty quick, but maybe... See? I told you it was right under your nose. You don't need any additional help from me, right? No, but I so... That was a clue I'm so confused. Why did we glitch out? What did the culprit do? Actually, everything in this world is a key to solving mysteries. You just haven't noticed them. Perhaps there is more you're overlooking. Was there anything else unusual? I'm just for I forgot something all about unusual. what we did with Amapel anyway. I missed the door. Mm, I don't know. Anything else? It's not like Amapel's camera showed the culprit. You think the culprit was on the ceiling or something? Wait, we couldn't that's look it? up. What? Huh? Now that I think about it, wasn't that strange? The culprit must have gotten ahead of Amapel, but why didn't they ever show up on the camera? If the culprit went past Amapel to enter the doctor's lab, they would have been spotted for sure. Do you think there was some kind of like, you think we did it? Hold on, I don't know. Now that you mention it. But nobody showed up on camera. 
How did the culprit manage to pull that off? How can you move from the airlock to the doctor's lab without appearing even once on Amapal's camera? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta see this because... Airlock. Okay, how was this... You think there was a way the culprit could have, like... I don't know. Hang on, wait, what did that say? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a... It's possible they could have gone it. Was there like a path through those? I don't know. Hey, aren't you just adding another mystery? No. All the pieces are here. Huh? Yuma. The mysteries you face now can be solved with a single answer. All of them? A single answer? Sheesh. I talk too much. Oh god, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, how did it go? Why not? Okay, all of these are one answer? Hold on. What caused Alma Pal's malfunction in the airlock? Where was the culprit for the crime? Why didn't they appear on the camera? And how did they use Alma Pal? Those are all the same answer. <sighs> Hang on, I'm gonna focus on what caused the glitch. Because I want to know about that. You think there was like an... High voltage? No, that's not it. You think there was some kind of... Shoe print. I mean, the shoe print. <gasps> I swear to God. No, they couldn't have. That couldn't have. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it because that's impossible because of gas. <laughs> that would have been a crazy theory, but it's not possible. Surely. Um, the notebook? I don't know. The vent. Yeah, no, there's no way somebody could have gone through there. Hold on. All right, we'll see. What do you do now? It's a Pandora's box of mysteries! L let's stay calm and think about it. There's plenty of time. Yep, there's plenty of time! Oh my god, I love it. Vivi is so good. And it's such an amazing character. Just doesn't care about anything. All it takes is one answer to solve these mysteries. Use those weak brain cells of yours and think. Use your tiny brain. Go to location. Yep. How's usage? Yep. All of this. One single solution key to answer all of these cameras somehow. Uh, answer uh, questions. All this can be solved with just one answer. How? Am I gonna have to? I mean, gotta do something. Is it actually? Was I right? Did we? Was I right? <laughs> what, were they actually riding on top of Alapal the whole time? Oh, but you're tough of it. Was I actually right? Oh my god! I was right! I was- I didn't even say it! Because it was so insane! The colors. I- yeah, that's what I was thinking earlier. The culprit just rode on top of Amapel! Wait, how though? What about the gas? How did they get through the gas? Like, the moment- if they were on top of Amapel- if they were on top of Amapel, the gas should have gotten them, right? With every open There's no door, way! But I was right, oh my god! Out. I mean, my plan- you know what, my Are theory- you sure you want to keep going? I was still right about the culprit, like, trailing behind Amapel. Just n in a much different way than I thought. <laughs> it just went on top. Absolutely! I will find the truth no matter what. This is for the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <sighs> oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know what, what's up with Vivia and why he's seemingly really apprehensive about the hey, truth of this case. Does he already know on top of something? Yeah, but how? That? I'm still wondering, like, the logistics of that. I understand how we could have gotten past everything else, said. but... The culprit rode Amapel and used it to get through. Okay, but I can't believe the culprit had such blind faith in us to know that we were gonna, like, get the, uh, secret thing right. After we left right. the airlock, the culprit came out of the decontamination device. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Then they jumped on Amapel's I cannot believe this is the real. The impact. <laughs> That's insane. They just jumped on him. Is it? And then, 
fairly reasonable. But the gas, though, how? 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 Our power can withstand up to a hundred kilograms of weight. I'm wind. still. So someone riding on it. Should okay, that's not. Function. That's not the problem, though. What about the toxic gas? The shoe print on Amapel's head how would wasn't the caused have by someone that? kicking it. It was left there from the culprit hopping on and off. After that, the culprit simply rode on it as it moved. But the gas, the though. Down. By doing so, the culprit was able to evade the camera. And I get it, but as they made their way through the lab. You're right. If it's true, then it does solve all of the previous mysteries. <laughs> Imagining the culprit riding on a robot but... makes me laugh. I'm. I hopefully. I'm, I'm sure they'll explain but Numa, it. But have you not realized? It? I have, and I'm pretty sure you're talking about that. You're still missing something. Yeah. One major mystery remains. Pretty sure you were talking about the same thing, Vivia. Yeah. Uh, What's with that huge sigh? The greatest the mystery of this story. case should appear soon. Just the thought of it gets me feeling down. Am I forgetting something about the toxic this gas? This is greatest mystery? Because surely, oh boy, here we go again. I, I don't see how the culprit could have survived the toxic gas if they were riding on top of Amapel. That's the thing. This is the panel chamber. Oh, hello. That means the doctor's lab is just beyond it. Okay, but how? If we can get through here, we'll reach the goal, yeah? Also, the culprit had really, like, the culprit had to have known. I don't know. <sighs> I'm wondering. I feel like the culprit had to have known about like because how did the culprit know we were going to get the sequence right the that was the, a, a massive risk uh not exactly what i was envisioning not yet at least well this is the mystery to be solved so let's clear it out when did the culprit get off on it was as soon as we got in the room it's me we saw that oh did, did when it would when would it have been possible for them to get into the room ahead of us I mean, oh, yeah, while opening the door. We know this. I mean, it would have been possible at any point. Well, not before, but surely because we couldn't see. Although, I mean, yeah, it's a culprit. In, but we already established that the it was either this or this. It was one of it was one of these two. So I don't know which one. I'm going to say while opening the door because that was my theory for the, the whole time. Bam. The culprit murdered the doctor before Amapel entered the room. Yeah. They pushed us off afterwards, but yeah, we, they, they left. While we were opening the... This Uhiko even pointed out how long it was taking to open the door. That had to have been important. Which means the culprit had to have gotten ahead of Amapel at some point. It was when the door first opened. At that moment, the culprit snuck into the doctor's room. Yeah. When the doors were slowly opening, just like this. <laughs> That's when the culprit took their chance. Wow. Right. You couldn't even go behind? Space for oh, yeah, I guess you through. couldn't because the of the electrifying thing. Like this? No. I'm going to throw Yuma off. All right. Hmm. Uh oh, this looks like a reasoning death match arena. Yep. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, the whip sword never gets old. We still haven't reached the goal. I thought we could get into the doc's lab now. Is this a joke to you? Your deduction is full of holes. If this is a joke, it's not very funny. Master, you know what to do. Yeah. Of course. Let's go. <laughs> Vivia, you're still acting sus. I'll take your garbage deduction and toss it in the trash. I am the saint of Kanai Ward, protecting it from filth like you! Kubuki's forte goes from fate. Right! Because. Well, though, how? 
It had to be Fubuki Sword Ring. We're, we're, we're probably going to talk about how the culprit, like, knew... What? <gasps> Wait a minute. Did the culprit know about Fubuki's Forte? Did the culprit know we were gonna turn back time? Because if so, then that makes it seem like it's someone we know. And I'm starting to get suspicious of a certain person who I had never possibly suspected before. Let's we'll see. The culprit hopped off on the pal as the door opened, then slipped through the gap in the door. That's impossible, even for Fink the Slaughter Artist! Um... Think about it. I'm thinking. I sure am thinking. Just a bit. The camera would have caught it. What? What do you mean? No one would do something so risky. What do you mean? What does that mean? The crime would have been exposed. The culprit must be really lucky. Um, what do you mean? I don't get it. Oh, is this... Is this it? Is this it? No, it's not. No. Hang on, I don't get what he's saying. What does that mean? It wasn't just luck that they didn't show up on the camera. The problem is how to prove it. Well, they didn't show up on the camera because they were on top. At the time, Arapal had its arm stretched out toward the button to disable the security system, right? It couldn't move. That's it. It couldn't move. It couldn't move. It couldn't move. Okay, I see what they're saying now. I get it. All right. Arapal couldn't have moved at that point. Ow, I, 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 got this. I got this. Think about it. Arapal's line of sight changed just a bit. Oh, I, I, okay. No one would do something so risky. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Ah, uh, wow, wow. Must be really lucky. Bam! What? That wasn't it? Oh, maybe I, maybe I was on the wrong one then. That's right. I know. Okay, it's on the uh, the culprit couldn't have changed its line of sight. The I'm a pal couldn't have changed its line of sight. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my god. Think about it. Just a bit. Wait, this is it! Damn it! Ah! That was the one! God! Alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm sorry, I'm out, 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 I know, I know, I know, oh, good god. I go, oh my god. Well, the culprit didn't turn off time, because he wasn't the Luffy. Okay, this is it. God. I'm yeah. I, I'm sorry. I screwed that up royally, but it's fine. This is it. I'm here now. Ooh. He almost slashed me. Oh, I went to the other side now. Oh, there we go. Jeez, I'm sorry. Armapel is designed so that when its hand is stretched out, it won't execute any other inputs. That's why when it was pressing the button for the door, the culprit didn't show up on the camera. <sighs> you little maggots. All right. Don't get so full of yourselves. You're not getting out of here alive. But well, he's still not down. Jeez. Okay, he's gonna come back again. Good God. I wonder if Yomi's the culprit, actually. Maybe that could have been possible. couldn't move while the door was opening. I don't know, I feel like by now we would have like gotten rid of a phantom of a peacekeeper phantom. That's how it was like last time too with the uh, Guillaume. The door opens outward, hmm. It's possible to take advantage of the blind spot it creates. I wonder could That's Yomi the be the culprit? To stay outside the camera's view Is that as they possible? Enter the doctor's room. Hmm. So it's an elaborate murder that took advantage of Amapal's design and even the direction the door opens. Whoever planned this must have really wanted the doctor dead. Again, they were very lucky that we had a turn back time ability that obsession. <laughs> that managed to open the door. How scary. Just like this passageway. 
Unless, of course, they knew, Where which again, hmm. Perhaps a sweet with the culprit's obsession. I feel like there's a reason Vivia is so. I don't know. I don't think Vivia is the culprit, but something is wrong. Huh? Vivia, you're still acting weird. Oh, come on! We just took you down! At least give us a few minutes! Hey, Yuma. When the culprit entered the doctor's room while the door was open... Huh? Y yeah? At the time, the doctor was in the room, right? Yeah? If the door opened and an intruder entered, how could the doctor not have noticed? I mean, maybe he did notice, but it was just too fast. So what if he did notice? It's not a big deal. Yeah, he could have noticed. It's not like... Yes, it is. Why? If he had noticed an intruder, the doctor would have turned to face him. Which means he wouldn't have been stabbed in the back. So the culprit, you know, they might have struggled, they might have fought, and then the culprit got him in the back afterwards. It's not that like piece of trash is right. Your logic is flawed. It's not like the culprit couldn't have just turned the doctor around and then stabbed him. Like I can see it happening in a fight, you know. Hey, what are you on the phantom side now? Hmm. Listen to my incredible words of wisdom. <laughs> Your crappy deduction is worth less than shit! Oh, Everything yeah. Everything you do is a fucking mistake! Oh, Yomi, how wise. There we go again. Reasoning death match. All right, what do we got? Damn Repel. It. Cool, cool. Bam. I'm gonna do this Your this time. Is inconsistent. I don't know if it's this one just it's yet. Full of inconsistencies. By your logic, even if the doctor could be stabbed, it wouldn't be from behind. Okay, hang on. That's all impossible. Was that it? Okay! There's two things we can repel. There should be a contradiction somewhere. You gotta find it and repel it. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, I get it. Uh, hold on. Which one is it, though? Your deduction is inconsistent. It's not that one, surely. I think it's the second one, though. It's gotta be, right? I feel like it. Whoa! Even if the doctor could be stabbed... Okay, it's gonna be the that be one. Behind. It's gonna be that one. Claim, does it hold up? Okay, how though? Hang on, I don't really, I haven't really thought this through. Just, huh? Oh, this music! Oh man, listen to this. The did stab the doctor in the back. That's how the body was discovered. Well, obviously they did, but how? That's why I'm saying your deduction is inconsistent. By your logic, the doctor couldn't have been murdered in that way. All right, notes, lab map. Hold on. The cope. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, the doctor couldn't hear. He wouldn't have heard the door opening. Very quickly. That's I, how did I forget that? But the doctor was in the room at the time, right? No, this isn't it. That's not the one. That's not the one I'm supposed to use. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was wrong. I got ahead of myself. Hang on. Right. That's fine. It's fine. I know. I know what to do. The lab. It's okay. But the doctor was in the room at the time, right? Oh, look at this, the snake! Intruder. Running is noisy. There we go, noisy, noisy, so oh, that's it! Would have heard and turned to face the culprit. That's the one, it's the noisy one. Hang on, hang on, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. his chest would have been stabbed, not his back. I get it, it was the noisy one. Unless you think the doctor was asleep. Is there oh. any trace of him being drugged? No, it's fine, it's fine. Shut up, Yomi. Stop talking. Even if he didn't look back from the Stop! I get it! I heard someone coming! No, he wasn't! Alright. The there we go. Wait, 
The doctor had trouble hearing. That's why he didn't notice the intruder. <laughs> now you're spouting nonsense. Say it's not. You want. It it's not. It you. is literally. There's a gaping hole in your logic. And there's no way you're going to fill it at this rate. Because you, more than anyone else. What else is there? You're the one refusing to see the truth right before you. Is he leaving eyes. again? Okay, well, bye. See you later. Because you know he's going to come back. What? I refuse to see the truth? Is it? <laughs> All right. Listen. It's been bugging me this whole time why the culprit would have chosen to ride on top of Am Amapel. Because how did they know that, like, we were going to be able to solve the, um, the, like, puzzle, the sequence puzzle. And not gotten, like, electrocuted. And the only way they could have known that is if they knew that we had Fubuki with us who could turn back time. And now I'm starting to suspect that maybe Yako might have done it. I don't know, and this whole thing about Yuma refusing to see the truth and stuff, maybe because, like, the killer is somebody he knows? I don't know. Vivius said the same thing. Is it Yako? What? I feel like at this point, he's the only one it could be. It's strange, don't you think? Isn't it about time you noticed that something's off here? I've noticed plenty of things off, but I don't know if it's... Huh? You've solved many mysteries up to now. Yet, none of them are directly connected to the culprit's identity. They're the big mystery. I, I think the, I think this is what's, what he's going to say. That's because the culprit is the hitman. Is it? If that's the case, why haven't you reaped the hitman's soul? And that would end the labyrinth. It's not that easy. The culprit will fight back unless we solve all the mysteries first. Hang on. What are you getting at? The culprit is not the hitman. Oh, it's gonna be Yako, isn't it? It's gonna hurt my soul. But I, I oh my god. My eyes, the reason a single mystery hasn't been directly connected to the culprit mm. is because of Yuma's reluctance. Yep. It's pushing I'm... away the mysteries that lead to the culprit. Yuma's reluctance, he's probably going to like, no, it can possibly be Yako or anyone we know. And that's why he's not even like thinking about that possibility huh? i can already see it subconsciously you're closing your eyes to the truth i'm very scared that's why you haven't touched on the hole in your reasoning i think that's what the hole is right how did the culprit know that we were going to get it all right how did the culprit know that we weren't going to like sh get shocked to death what hole the culprit knew Whatever, we had that's enough and just ignore this guy turn back time going. power oh, hey Vivia? I'm very scared! I am extremely scared. Yuma. I have no- mm -hmm. Yuma. <laughs> Vivia, what's up? Jeez, go away. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> you know, you- oh my god. He's gonna start tormenting us with this now. What are you- Yuma. <sighs> Just I think I know, and I hate it. Let's review your deduction. Shall God! We? The culprit took advantage of Amapau's locked position and entered the lab. I can. I think I already know where and they're going. And before the robot entered the room, that person stabbed the doctor from behind. Mm. However, they bumped into Amapau while escaping, causing it to fall over. That was obviously a mistake. And here's another thing. You see, uh, there's still one thing, one, one, there's still one, uh, key, one solution key that we haven't even, like, touched on yet, and it's this photo. You think this photo has some, like, personal reason as to why Yako may have wanted the doctor dead? Because that was a, re that, this woman was a researcher at the lab, and I still think that guy in the photo is Yako, because I see his hair back there. I don't know. But since mm. it wasn't captured on video, they were able to avoid detection. After that, the culprit went inside the decontamination device in the airlock to hide from you. That's correct. So what's the hole in my deduction? It's before all of that. It remains the case's greatest mystery. Which is? How 
did the culprit get past security? Uh, isn't it, are we going back to the toxic gas? Are we going back to the toxic gas? We already told you that. The culprit rode on top of Amapel and the gas though. It and was taken all the way to the doctor's lab. But if someone was riding on it, how did they get past the high voltage? Okay, also that chamber? because we didn't. Yeah, he's going to that. Oh, he's really going to that. We didn't get shocked. How did the culprit know we weren't gonna get shocked? How did the culprit know we weren't gonna get shocked? <laughs> This is the end for you! You have nowhere left to go! Oh, come on! Why now? This is I won't it. let you maggots ruin I think the this is the end. I ward. This is the last one with the Yomi Phantom, I think. As the king of Amaterasu Corporation and the guardian of Kanai Ward, I will stop you here and now! Perhaps this, too, is an obsession. Why does he insist on covering up the truth? Man, this Tell case me, is really... What will you do, Yuma? Are you going to stay willfully blind? Mm. No, I'll fight. Whether it's subconscious or not, I won't look away from the truth. Uh... I'll find the truth no matter what. This is for the chief and everyone at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. I don't know. <sighs> Ah, <laughs> I'm very good luck. You'll never find scared. It. You'll scurry around this labyrinth forever like blind mice. You'll run away looking for an answer that will never come. Huh. All right, death mask, let's go. It's time. Ghost form trade security lock. Pubuk is forte. It's gonna be this, isn't it? Playing with your shit, deductions. <laughs> you still haven't solved the greatest mystery. How did the culprit get past the security? Yeah. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The system was always live. Yeah. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. But they didn't because we never got the shocked. System. No living human can breach it. True. Don't tell me the culprit is a robot. No, 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 no. We're not Kibo. Not yet. Oh, that's it? Hold on. Hmm. How did the culprit break through the panel chamber? But... We at least had Amapel with us to disable the security system. Didn't you notice anything else weird at the time? Think hard. That's right. Um, as far as the panel chamber goes. Oh, hold on, let's think about the panel chamber. Behind panels, a 3x3 configuration, must step on them in a special order to proceed. But we did, because if he was on top of Amapel, he would have just gone in while we were stepping on all the right ones, right? Playing with your shit. What about the ghost form? Hang on. Deductions. No, stop! I don't want that. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! I don't want that. You still haven't solved. Uh, I can't view like the regular all of them. No. The okay, greatest fine. mystery. How did the culprit get past the security? The critical lab security system was always live. It was indeed. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel chamber shocks would have fr- I don't know. We didn't get shocked, though. We never I got shocked. Because the security of system? No living human can breach it. Is this it? I don't know. It was! Oh, I was right about Kabuki's forte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we never got shocked because Kabuki turned back time. And the culprit knew that. Ah. Uh. Oh, did we kill the phantom? Did we kill? I, yeah, was I right about this being the last Yomi battle? Hold on. Oh my god, I was right. Uh. The culprit knew we had Fubuki with us. We could get past the panel chamber by using Fubuki's forte. 
In fact, that's how we got past the panels. The high voltage shocks kept destroying Amapel. We kept rewinding time. We never actually got shocked, technically. But we reversed time every time that happened. Correct. So whenever it was struck by the current, you went back in time. <laughs> uh, you were starting to realize it. But while that was occurring, the culprit, a human, was riding on top of Amapel. That person was burnt to a crisp every time you failed. But and then we got turned back time. Which means you killed the culprit. Okay, but that's not the part we should be focusing on. Please, Vivia. Vivia? Wait. Was Yomi the culprit, actually? If only you had chosen to remain. Or was it you? It, I would have walked beside you in silence. Wait, was it actually you? Was I right the entire time, Vivia? But if you intend to seek the truth. No, oh, or was it Yako? It was either Vivia or Yako. I don't think there's anything else to it. It was either Vivia or Yako. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Between Vivia and Yako, I don't know which one. He's going to betray you, Master. Betray me? It's up to you, Yuma. Oh my god. This is your final chance. Is he turning into a phantom? To save the world you believe in. I can't tell. What are you going to do? This is still so confusing. It's time to decide your path. It's either Vivia or Yako who's the culprit, and I, future. I still think it's Yako. I think Vivia is trying to protect Yako. Why, Vivia? Because we know Vivia cares a lot about Yako, at least, out of anyone in that team. Oh. Are we doing it like a full on reasoning deathmatch against Vivia? Like, not even Phantom, not even Mystery Phantom, just, just Vivia. Oh my god. Yep. It's just Vivia. Yay! Master Detective! It doesn't even say Mystery Phantom anymore. Ghost from Trades. Oh god. Properties. Hmm. A dark silhouette passed through the shadows. Thank you. Hold on, is this it? How did the culprit bypass the toxic gas chamber? That was another thing I was wondering about too. To avoid the gas. Wait. Ghost form traits? I still can't like see bacterial. It was impossible to avoid. Oh, would surely die. Yeah. Oh my god, don't tell me. Is it what I think it is? No, it's not. Okay, hang on. That gas would totally kill you, wouldn't it? I don't see a contradiction in that statement. But I think it'd be a good idea to check the solution keys again for to about the gas. Okay, Maybe. there may be something I'm forgetting. Something that shows how the doctor could have still been killed. Look. Information about the gas. Okay, but... All of this, all the information about the gas that we're seeing here is just, like, further proving that the culprit couldn't have possibly survived it. It's bacterial. Uh-huh. We ask you. How did the culprit bypass the toxic gas I'll chamber? wait for him to, like, say the it's full thing. To avoid the gas. The culprit would surely die. I'll wait for him to finish, and then we'll see. You know this, right? the gas has a special trait. Yeah, it's bacterial. We know that. The gas can see through even a gas mask. Yes, it can. That's tr that's correct. No ability can nullify its toxicity. You think this is it now? No, it's not. Then what? No one connected this case has that kind of ability anyway. What? But a gas mask wouldn't have protected against the toxic gas, and there's no way to avoid it. If that's the case, there's no doubt the culprit was exposed to the gas. For now. <gasps> you think... Mm, how, how much time did it pass between us getting in there and finding the body and Yako's death? You think Yako actually did get like sp sprayed with the gas, and then he just died 30 minutes later? Look... Hold on. 
Okay, I'm going. Oh my god, wait. Ah, stop! Okay. I'm getting- the fast forward part doesn't really work here. I- alright. Whatever. Yeah. No ability can nullify its toxicity. What ability? I don't know. Shit, shit, shit! Oh my god, this is it! You would only die after like 30 minutes, right? Yako! No! Am I right? Hang on. Did he- is it actually Yako? If you pass through the toxic gas, you'll die. But you'll have 30 minutes before it kills you. In that time, the killer could have just like- Yako! Did he stab himself? Which means you could but then somebody. For 30 minutes. What? Don't tell me. There are no gas masks here that can block this toxic gas. And no fortes that can nullify it. And the culprit is already dead. There's only one way you could get through it. You do nothing. You endure it in hopes of Amapel taking you to the next room. <laughs> then... The culprit didn't do anything to counteract it and just pass through the toxic gas? The culprit is already dead! It's the only explanation that- I mean, at sense. least- Hey! This is the truth. On the bright side, at least Yuma doesn't have to be responsible for the death this time, right? <laughs> I can't believe it. But then, we're realizing who it was, but right? If the culprit really did just endure the toxic gas... Then they- the culprit, the culprit, is already yes. dead, and we know who that is. It appears you finally glimpsed the truth. Uh, 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 uh. Well, how does it feel to have your world shatter before your eyes? Oh, don't worry. I mean, I've played Danganronpa all of the games. I've experienced this way too many times before. I'm fine. Isn't but Yuma, this though. <laughs> what you wanted. He wanted the truth. This mystery phantom and Fifia are both right. Subconsciously, I didn't want to know the truth. Huh? Up until now, uh. the mystery labyrinth was withholding the mysteries that led to the culprit. And that's because it's a reflection of my own reluctance. Oh my god. Master, what's wrong? Do you know who the culprit is? Yeah. Hitman, right? It's the truth. Oh, oh, is worthless. oh giant kaiju Yomi. Nothing is less valuable Look at this that. isolated rainy city. No one wants the truth. Is it time for another? Not even you. <laughs> Deathmatch. Now, right away. And die right here! Why are you so adamant about covering this up anyway? No one will get in my way! Kanai Lord, Amaterasu! They both belong to me! Shouldn't it be like good news for you that one of the detectives is dead? <laughs> that they killed, like, I don't know. I guess losing the doctor may have been a, like a big loss, but hmm. Here goes. Ah, oh, the giant. If the culprit Repel carried time. out the crime like you deduced. Ow. You're pissing me off. Then they should be dead from the toxic gas. Whoa. But no one at the scene has died from poisoning. If you can Oh, there's Vivian in the back. Then what are you still doing here? Ah, hit him in the hand. What? That was it? You're right that no one in that lab. Wait, wait, wait! There wasn't even chaos. anything to repel there. But that was part of the culprit's there was nothing. plan from the beginning. They planned to distort the facts of their death. Oh my you, God! Are you sure you want to face the truth? What else can we do right now? Your world will fall apart. The world that you believed in. Oh, Yako. Man, your deduction is wrong. 
Don't disturb the peace. I thought it was weird that we didn't have a list of suspects this time, just like last time. But I guess it makes sense now when you think about it. Just give up and die! Um... No, wait, the hitman. They, they use the hitman. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I know, I know, I know. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's fine, it's fine. Just, I was just thinking, like, oh, they used, I, I just thought they used, and I was like, oh, what? No, it's fine. Yeah, I got it. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hitman never existed, did they? But then who was that? The culprit misrepresented their death by using the hitman. I mean, the hitman does exist because it's a, their MO and stuff, but like, yeah, Yaku, Yaku just pretended he was killed by hitman. He probably stabbed himself. The culprit realized their plan would be exposed if someone in the lab died from toxic gas. So they used the hitman to cover up their own death. Used the hitman? Shinigami, come on, you're smart. How have you not figured this out yet? The hitman wasn't hired to assassinate the doctor. They were hired to cover up the culprit's death by Wait. toxic gas. Oh, did Yaku straight up just hire the hitman to kill him? Huh? The hitman's target was the culprit? Not the doctor? Oh, that actually makes more sense. Because we saw the, the hitman was walk away. By the knife with the inscribed F. Doesn't that belong to the hitman? I mean, you know, the co it's possible for- All you would need is a similar knife. Yeah, you just had a, a copy, sure. The story of Fink the Slaughter Artist using a knife inscribed with the letter F is well known. Yeah, you could probably get a copy of the replica of that knife, like, anywhere. Nah, we leave it alone until we receive further orders. Did you see the knife? Yeah, we the saw one this. Fink the Slaughter Artist uses or So, it was all a ruse? The real culprit made it look like the hitman did it? <laughs> Stop. Why are you like this? Come on. Stop, 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 stop! You useless garbage! To hell with detectives and the truth! I will let you have your way in my city! There is no real culprit! Dr. Wesco was killed by the hitman! Huh? What's going on? Who's the real culprit? Why is Yomi resisting so much? Jeez. The real culprit? The real culprit is... The time has finally come. <laughs> it's time for you to acknowledge what you've known all along. If the tiny crack spreads any further, the mirror will shatter, exposing the chaos of the real world. Knowing this, will you still expose the truth? Then... Show me your conviction. Oh my god. Just clues pointing to the identity of the hitman's target. Yep. I know. I've known all along. Now, expose, expose it. the truth. Do it. If you want to burn the world. Oh, I skipped it by accident. Uh, it's time. To beat Yomi with a key? Oh, it's this, isn't it? Wait, death threat? No. It has to be this photo, doesn't it? I mean, this is the only thing that relates to Yako here. The bloodstained photo found in the hallway near the lab. There was a person pictured with a woman. Not the freaking photo again! Is that, chapter 2 was already bad enough. That was the hitman's target. The real culprit behind this case. And we know who's behind that. We've known from the start. At least I have. The blood obscured the person's face. But I know who it is. It could only be one person. It could only be... How do you know? That person in the photo is the hitman's target. And who is it? It's... It's Yako. It's... No. 
Stop! Don't you dare say another word! I don't know what you no are. Wants the truth. Did you kill her or something? That like the girl? I don't understand, but. Shouldn't you me? Good luck, Master. I'm always by your side, haunting you. Oh yeah, it's it's Yako. It's Yako. Who the hell is it? It's Darth Sidious. Who is the true culprit? Ugh, I wish it could be Yomi. I really truly <coughs> wish it could be Yomi. But it's not. Oh! Team Rocket's blasting off again! What? Wait, since when does the Mystery Labyrinth have a wall? Damn. Oh, man. Is that it? We got the Phantom. Oh, Yako. What's happening? Oh, he's turning into... Is it time for... Is it time for, like, the Yako castle or whatever? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, how much longer is this going to be? Because I really want to do this to the end. I want to see this through the end, though. We're at this point. I definitely want to end the chapter today. Huh? But we're at the Why? end. We've already Why figured out there's a culprit here? here. Shinigami, how have you not figured this out yet? Like, damn. Chief Yako was the only person attacked by the hitman in the lab. In other words, the chief was the hitman's target. Yako's really gonna die, huh? But oh, Chief God. Yako tried to hide that photo by tossing it behind the houseplant. He hid it knowing it'd be an important clue. He didn't want us finding out he did it. And that's because... He wanted to protect us, I guess, from that truth. The Chief Yako himself. It was given to the hitman so he'd know his target. And the Chief tried to conceal it. Which means the blood covering the face on the photo was likely done on purpose. Yeah, actually, if you look at the actual photo, you can see... Hang on. You can see that, um... Hold on, where's the photo? Yeah, you can see that, like, there's a strangely, like, thick layer of blood here, and that, that was definitely done with a finger. Yako, like, put a bunch of blood on his finger and used it to cover his face up here. You can see it. Head is the culprit? <laughs> really? I don't buy it. You think he actually put together this elaborate murder? He's knocking on Death's door just for this? I don't She's want to believe that... it either. But there's no other way. That woman in the photo must have been damn important to him. Don't forget this stuff. Oh, what is the Battle with Vivia? What? Anime vampire is gonna throw questions at you back to back. Press the correct button when you think you got the correct answer. You'll take damage if, if you avoid all assault, assailing assault. Oh no, 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 not now. Really? Okay, fine. We're doing this. We're in the agency. The phantom vanished. The truth has been mostly exposed, and the labyrinth cannot function much longer. Anything I do now might not matter. But I'll do it anyway. Maybe, uh... Because it's something I must do. While the chief takes his final breaths. Vivia. Yuma. Oh, the cue. If Chief Yako is the culprit. He sent it to himself. Then what about that? Death threat. Oh, he choked up, you see that? I trust him to speak for the love of life. My blade shall be his atonement. Why would the chief Why would oh. the chief send it? If he was the killer. Because he wanted them to think it was the hitman, right? Answer me, Yuma. Why did the echo send the death threat? Oh god, there's gonna be multiple answers here. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, wait, there's only one answer. Ooh, blocking it with the, ch oh, the sword! Okay, it's quick time events. It's quick time events. Oh my god, that's Everyone so good. The doctor's life was in danger. 
which was necessary for this sequence of events to take place. All the master detectives headed to the secret lab because of that note. Chief Yako brought them here to take advantage of their abilities and murder the doctor. Oh my what? god. Their abilities? Their fortes. But Specifically Fubuki's. The death threat and ya and the Desahikas as well with the disguise thing. The peacekeepers received it too. Yeah, to make it what even, I guess. What's the point of that? Why put them on high alert? What What's is it gonna the truth be? behind it all? What's it gonna be now? Which button? Which button? Tell me. Again, why? Use the disguise ability. Yeah, if you needed to use it. Desafico. The note was sent to the peacekeepers because they were also part of the plan. When the peacekeepers received the note, they dispatched a lot of their personnel to the scene. And that would have made it easier for them to disguise themselves. The master detectives were able to take advantage of the commotion to enter the facility. They did it by disguising themselves as peacekeepers. It would be convenient to have a lot of peacekeepers around if you want to get into the lab disguised as one. This is why the peacekeepers also received the death threat. God, is Vivia fighting us on this too? <sighs> uh. hey, you still want to do this? It's not too late to give up. I am well aware of the danger. I, I am the danger. <laughs> much exercise in a long time. But this is something I must do. I can't leave the chief like this. He's already dead, man. I mean, it's not, not, much, else you, not much else you can do, but... Let's continue, Yuma. Continue our battle. So, everyone disguised themselves as peacekeepers and entered the lab. You were already at the lab. And that's where you met up with the chief, right? Yes, but we decided to split up after the blackout occurred. Wait, wait! That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. I knew it. This place is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. Uh, he took this chance to separate himself from the rest of the us. The chief said he'd buy us some time, but he actually went and hid inside the airlock. Was the blackout part of the plan? So the one who caused it... Was that also the chief? Who caused the blackout? Um... Was it you? I feel like you could have... Oh, it's not going to... Wait! That's not it! I dodged when I pressed it! Oh, hey, come on! I literally did press it. Alright, game. The chief said he'd buy us some time. Come on. But I pressed the button. And hid inside the airlock. Was the blackout part of the plan? Dr. Weska did it? So the one who caused it. So was, was Dr. Weska. Also Wait, the was that. Chief? I... Okay. Well. Oh, it wasn't- That's Okay, it. I have to wait for another answer to show up then. Do I? Okay, okay, okay. The chief said he'd buy us some time, but he actually went and hid inside the airlock. Was the blackout part of the plan? So the one who caused it. Was that also the chief? So something else is gonna show up. Oh, he just dodges immediately. Was it, it was you, Vivia, wasn't it? It was you, wasn't it, Vivia? Oh, it was Fink. Yeah, okay, he hired the hitman to do the black. Okay, no, that makes more sense. Uh, I was wondering if Vivia had worked the together. Chief was with me in the security room at the time this, of the blackout. Dude, this OST. It's impossible for him to have caused it. So the only person he could be is the hitman. It must have been part of the job. He instructed the hitman to cause a blackout at a specific time. But why? It made us think the doctor was in danger, so we'd go check on him. We used Amapel and Fortes to get through the tight security system. Chief Yako had it all planned out from the start. God. He used us to break through the security so he could kill the doctor. Man. 
Yako really was like determined to get revenge for whatever happened to that girl. And now we're never gonna hear it from him. Unless his like mystery phantom form or something starts like talking to us. So, Master using Amapel and the sheltered skink's time rewinding ability at the panel chamber? That was all part of Buzzhead's plan? The only way to get past security was to use both Amapel and that forte. The chief knew we'd figure that out. I think it's more like he trusted us. He trusted that we would arrive at that conclusion. I'm counting on you both. Well, see you later. Trust? How could this be a trust thing? He was clearly taking advantage of you all. <sighs> He wanted- I mean, there's a reason he killed himself in this plan. He wanted us to figure it out eventually. He gathered the master detectives using a fake death threat, then used their fortes to commit murder. What a scumbag! He used you all to get away with murder! Out of all the criminals I've ever met, he's no. the worst coward of them all! Shut up. Master, grab that coward and- Enough! Oh god, Yuma. <laughs> Why- did it have to come to this? Oh, Chief Yako after everything, me. yeah. He took me in. I, I had lost everything, even my memories. Sure, he may have been a little pushy at times. Oh man! But still. Oh no, that's right. I really <laughs> admired him. Ah, the sprites. So. Why? Why did you do it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm about to cry. Who was that girl? Is this about the woman in the picture? Chief, please tell me! Or I... There's no point in asking. He's dead. That's just a mystery phantom. It's not the real Fuzzhead. Well... Hello. Master, watch out! Hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, that photo. Yeah. It's... The phantoms are a reflection of the same people in the real world, right? Which means he should hold the same thoughts. The photo behind the houseplant I don't know what the chief was hiding, but that photo must have been dropped by the hitman after he was done with it. The chief picked it up and used his own blood to obscure the face. He knew the truth would be exposed if that photo was found. So, he hid it behind the potted plant. He left his blood on it, almost like he wrote a dying message. But in truth, it was actually a secret he wanted to keep hidden. <gasps> oh my god, these sprites are killing me. Master, I think you know this, but to exit the mystery labyrinth, you will have to eliminate the culprit. How? He's already dead! Eliminate? The chief? He's literally already- unless- oh, uh, was it possible to save him? Are you really going to do this? Are we actually going to have to just kill Yako ourselves? After all the mysteries are solved, the chief back in the real world will die. Oh. But you saw yourself, Yuma. The chief is already knocking on death's door. Will you still bury him in the name of truth? <sighs> the chief took me in when I had no memories. Or anyone to turn to. I trusted him from the bottom of my heart. Now I have to end his life. <laughs> you know, I liked it, surprisingly. What? The labyrinth? The little bit of peace and quiet I found oh. at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Vivia. You knew the truth. Yeah, he totally knew. Very beginning. I knew he knew. I had a hunch. 
Because of my spectral projection, I knew the Chief had been planning something for quite some time. But I pretended not to see. I admired him and the world he had made. That's why you threatened me and were so uncooperative in the investigation. I knew you would reach the truth eventually, Yuma. But I tried my best to keep you away. Exposing the truth won't save anyone. Neither the Chief, nor you. Well, it's just something we have to live with. Oh god, what's happening now? Master, you've already come this far. You've got to finish this. We do, Yuma. I'm sorry, we got to move forward. What will happen to the other Master Detectives if you die here? There's nothing else we can do. Didn't you say you wanted to expose the truth and save everyone? <sighs> I already couldn't save everyone, but... Vivia, you told me that the time would come when I'd have to prove my conviction. The conviction to accept the truth, no matter how cruel it may be. Now is that time, isn't it? Yes, and yet you intend to continue, if you're prepared for it. You better not get in Master's way again! Yuma, do you remember when the Chief's soul called out to us? Huh? Oh god, please don't show me that again. Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. But you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss so Yako really, so much. What's the point of worrying so much about it? When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. I always averted my eyes from the truth. For my own sake. My own peace and quiet. But I could never say with confidence that I was proud of myself. In the end, I was just running away from everything. That's why I entrust this to you, Yuma. We have to find the truth. And trust what? You signed a pact with the Death God and your desire for the truth. I want to see your conviction. We gotta bring it to light. As long as you don't stray from exposing all truth, I believe you'll be able to face it, cruel as it may be. I want to see it through to the end. It's why I followed you here. In that sense, we're accomplices. Uh, if so you, you must have to bring bear down the alone. chief, then I will lend a hand. Ugh, man. I won't avert my eyes any longer. I too. I want to live with my head held high because I too <laughs> am a detective. I don't think I've ever seen that sprite of Vivia winking before. That's cool. He's actually like smiling. Oh. Vivia. When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. I understand, Chief Yako. Thank you. For everything you've done for me! Oh. Well, it's the end. It's time. Oh, yeah, we're finishing this chapter today, baby. Oh. Yeah, this chapter takes the cake for the saddest chapter yet, probably. This in chapter two. Mmm. The emotions. Let's do it. The Imperfect Insider. Deduction Dinoimont. Where's the secret lab locator? Hang on. That threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna go back now. Let's see what we got. Uh, Alright, it's Turcom.
What is this? Hold on, do we not like... Oh, there we go, hang on. Where does the cover hide? No, that's not it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this. All right. That's it. Um, take the knife. Hang on. Yeah. There we go. All right, now we go back again. Yomi, there we go. So yeah, he got the letter too. It's a contamination device. I guess, um... Yeah, in here. Hidden here. Whose power was used? Fubuki. And finally, here. I think the Slaughter Artist. Yako, man. Unraveled. Step right up. Step, step right up. I'm not happy about this one. Why does Shinigami have to sound so enthusiastic about this every time? The victim in this case is one Dr. Weska. This incident features a sinister and meticulously detailed plot centered on the doctor. The old geezer was holed up inside a lab at Amaterasu HQ. He was a total hermit in the critical lab, with a totally overkill security system. The culprit made thorough preparations beforehand to break through that system. Boom killing a shut-in is hard work. The humane thing to do is to reintroduce him to society first. <laughs> uh, yeah, with that out of the way. Posing as a hitman, the culprit sent a death threat to the peacekeepers, the detective agency, and the research lab. At the same time, they contracted a real hitman and had him infiltrate the research facility. They spilled the beans about Gramps being in danger to lure both the peacekeepers and the detectives to the lab. You see, the master detective's presence at the scene was an indispensable part of the plan. It was how the culprit gained access to the research facility, after all. <laughs> the hitman infiltrated the lab exactly as planned. And we arrived with Makoto at yep. the same time. Stuff went down, blah blah blah, and Master got locked up by that yummy guy. I was Where's Makoto anyway? Where, where did he go? Who were disguised as peacekeepers. With the real peacekeepers rushing around, the culprit took advantage of the turmoil to sneak into the lab. But after catching up with them, the power suddenly went out, separating the culprit from the rest of the group. The blackout itself was caused by the hitman, right? And getting separated was all part of the culprit's plan. Right. They used the blackout as an opportunity to hide in the vents in the airlock chamber. Afterwards, we headed to the critical lab to check on the doctor's condition, just like the culprit directed us. But since that lab used a separate power supply, nothing strange had happened. This whole the doctor's in danger spiel was an act, huh? He made 
made a fool of you, Master. What a Don't dick. say that. But then, someone attacked the doctor while we were trying to talk with him over the intercom. We had to get into the doctor's lab. But that time, the old geezer was playing games with us. And he even tried to kill you and the others with a trap! That bastard wanted to use your dead bodies! <laughs> he really got you there, master! <laughs> I don't see why you're so happy about it. The Dr. Sham made the case even more confusing. Even if we tried to get to the doctor, the critical lab was guarded by tight security. The only way through was by using an Amapel. The culprit rode on it by emerging from their hiding place and in jumping the bent <laughs> and jumping onto the robot's head. Man. All aboard the Amapel and then he went through the gas. Oh god. Humans can't protect themselves against the gas, but since it's not in the through there. It wasn't a problem. Next up, the panel chamber and high voltage shocks. In one wrong move, and it was instant death. We killed Yako over and over and over again. Oh god. I'm just remembering that now. So we managed a perfect clear. The critical lab was finally breached. The culprit had anticipated we would get through this way. They also knew they would die over and over as a result. Man. The camera feed was affected when the culprit jumped on. I should have realized what was happening. No use crying over spilled blood. On to the next thing. Oh. Where were we? Oh yeah! To open the door to the doctor's lab, Amapel had to reach out its arm and hit a switch. And when the door opened wide enough for a person to squeeze through, the killer snuck inside. Amapel can't follow any new commands while its arm is extended, so the culprit didn't show up on the camera. Then the culprit boom killed the old geezer using the same knife as the hitman. Mm -hmm. Grips was pretty much depth, so a backstab was easy peasy. Then, the murderer tried to leave the room before Amapel entered. But they knocked the robot over Bam! And the Falcon out. kick! They then went back into the airlock chamber vent to wait for you and the others to go by. We entered the critical lab and found the doctor's body. The culprit used that time to get out of the vent and head for the hallway. That was when they were found by the hitman. And stabbed. Yeah, they were. Yeah, he was already, already been in contact with the toxic gas, so death was inevitable. He However, really just gave by away gas his would life expose them as the doctor's killer. <sighs> so they hired the hitman to kill them. Thereby concealing any involvement. I guess that means the killer completely trusted in the master detective's capabilities. Oh. They knew those powers would get them close to the doctor. But why were they willing to die to hide the crime? Oh God, my switch is turning. <laughs> I can't say. I haven't touched certain. the controller for a bit. Was it his pride as a detective? Did he simply not want his friends to know? Whatever it may be, I'm prepared to face the truth. The culprit who murdered Dr. Weska and even included his own death in the plot. Jaco Furio! It was you! Pointing. Happy man, well, have that, I guess. Now to eliminate his soul. I will expose the truth. There wasn't even a castle minigame this time. Oh.
I guess the instead of the castle minigame, we did uh, the Vivia battle. That was the replacement. Oh, Yako. Man. But... Why? Chief Yako, why? Why didn't you ever talk to us about this? Why did it have to end this way? Why didn't you tell us? Is this really what you wanted? Can you even hear me? It doesn't matter who it is. Exterminating the real culprit's soul and destroying the mystery labyrinth. It's the only way we can get out of here. That's why I'm here. Is it time? Oh my god. And you're gonna be all happy and peppy during this whole thing, aren't you? Bloodlust. Ah! Flowing uh, despair. Despair. That is totally what I'm feeling right now, actually. The mm. Shall expunge this cursed case! Down to all deplorables! I love the music for this, though. Bam! Uh, explode. Wait, what's happening? What? What's going on? Really? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, he's crying. I mean, yeah. Oh, she didn't have, She didn't blow him up this time! Oh, at least she had, like, the decency to let him go out in a dignified way. Oh. She didn't explode him. That was nice of Shinigami, genuinely. Oh, man. Wow. Master's naivete must be rubbing off on me. Hmm. I mean, not even I hated Fuzzhead. That's weird. This mystery labyrinth is falling apart slower than usual. Hmm. I wonder why. We shouldn't let our guards down yet. Do you really think we're done here? Is there something else? Huh? Is there something else? Do you have all of the fragments of truth that you sought? There's still one thing, the motive. Exactly why did he do this? If so, we could just leave, right? The one thing we haven't figured it out yet. No, we haven't uncovered everything yet. No, there are still some mysteries remaining. The motive is pretty much the huh? thing. What's remaining? I read the culprit's soul already. I know it's slow, but this place is starting to come down. Maybe it's not directly related to this case. I don't want to leave any questions unanswered. But for Chief Yako's sake, please help me, Shinigami. Oh, fine. I can't say no to you, Master. What? You know I can't resist helping you when you rely on me. First, we need to reveal whatever mysteries are left. That should open up a new path. Lead all out, Master. The motive. Why did he do this? That's the, that's the the thing. That's the mystery. That's what I want to know. It has something to do with that girl, clearly, but... Try to solve it, lickety split! Or Dr. Weska's? What? <laughs> Hold on. I don't think the photo is... Uh... No, is that not it? Information on Weska. Hang on. Let's go with this. Sorry. What was... I... What was the thing that proved Dr. Weska's betrayal? Nope. Sorry. Oh, God. Dr. Weska's... I keep... Oops. I'm, I'm bad at this. Hang on. Dr. Weska's what? I know. I don't know what it is, though. Nope. Okay. E.
Okay, fine, I lost. It's E, it starts with an E. Hold on. Sorry, Yuma, sorry, sorry. Hang on. We start from last checkpoint, which is this. It is this. We're we going through all this again. Uh, it's fine, I'm skipping over all this. Let's do it again. What's E? Dr. West says what? Ec what, 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 what? Okay. Let's work together as a team. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Dr. West goes. That's right. Oh, hang on. Let me see the doctor's notes. That should be relevant. Maybe he was threatened to swap places. Um, I don't. I still know what the word is. No, I still don't know what the word is. No. Okay, Doctor West is M. I don't know what the word is. Uh oh, okay. I can still get this though. Am I... Am I an idiot? Oh my god. Okay, great, I lose. What is it mean? What? Email? Oh, the email! I'm an idiot. <laughs> the email, I forgot! I completely forgot we found that. It just slipped my mind. All right, the email. I see. Yeah, I've never done so bad at one of these before. Cause I, just, I completely forgot we were even thinking about an email. I completely didn't even. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I see. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in. Go in. Go in. Come on. Come on. We got this. <laughs> This has been going for way too long now. Go, go, go. E I'm just gonna fast forward it, baby. All right, and the email. I completely forgot about that. Pop! Oh my god, I don't know if I am going to be able to finish this chapter this time then. We'll see if we can finish this in this episode or not, depending on how long this takes. The ch I mean, the labyrinth is literally already crumbling. We're done. We just gotta figure out a few more mysteries, just a little bit more. That <laughs> Zelda! I even opened a dungeon. Oh, it's a secret dungeon! The labyrinth must be breaking down so slowly, because the identity of the culprit isn't the only mystery. But it's still definitely coming down, so you better hurry, Master! Yeah, got it. Yuma, I'll follow you to the end until you reach the truth. All right, Thank let's you. do it. Oh, we're going down. This should be the end of it all. I hope this isn't gonna for too much longer. Do you regret this, Yuma? I'd be lying if I said I didn't. It's black and white now. I've been thinking. Oh God, I everything's falling apart. Said. If you keep that in mind while knowing who the true culprit is, doesn't it seem like he wanted you to find the truth? Hmm. Even though he was the culprit himself. Why is that? Maybe there's a hidden truth behind this case. And the chief wanted us to find it. 
There could be some anonymous person involved. The woman. If anonymous is part of this case, they must have a motive for killing Dr. Weska as well. Wait, what? The doctor knew about the secret deal I mean, and was planning to flee from Kanai Ward by himself, after all. Right, that. Could it be that Anonymous took advantage of Chief Yako by instigating him to commit murder? Yes. It's unlikely that the Chief just been? happened to kill Dr. Weska right as he was planning to flee. Oh, yeah, he came in this with That's the plan. true. Anonymous isn't just involved in the case. They could be the mastermind, the Bray Eminence. Bray's my 13th favorite color! Alright. Why are you telling me that now? The first one's purple, I'm calling it now. It's either purple or is it or it's Oh is already solved. The hell? All these crimes. Were no, 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 by hold on. on his own. Who are you? Now, <laughs> get out of here. The mocking like weird cap text. What was that voice? Someone's trying to stop us from solving oh, yeah. this mystery. Now we know. The mastermind is somewhere within this labyrinth. Okay, Get let's do it. Who the heck? Out. Was it Yomi, maybe? Get out. Get out. Who is this? Get out. Get out. Oh god, oh god. Get out. What is happening? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay, dude. Just calm down. Breathe a minute. Creepy. We can't let this stop us. There's one more truth still hidden here. And what could we that have to be? Find it. We need to know why the chief committed this crime. Right. We'll figure this out. Who is this though? Reasoning deathmatch against the weird glitchy guy? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. We're not even gonna figure out who this is. Alright, well. Let's go. Repelling. Is that all you're gonna say, buddy? Get out, get out! Get out! <laughs> Are we gonna say okay? It's not gonna be okay. The case is solved. That's gonna be the part I think. Now we gotta repel. Damn! So many self-serving arguments. Get it's all made up. Use your powers of deduction. Repel the contradiction. Get out. Okay, it's gonna be like the case or something. Yes. No, that's not it. Okay, it's the other one then. There was another one to repel. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Got it. Got it. Get out. The case. The case. Oh god. He sounds so weird sped up. Solved. That claim doesn't hold up. Alright. No, it still isn't solved yet. I will discover who the mastermind is. <coughs> I will solve every mystery. I will not turn away from the truth. Maybe I should have split this into two parts after all. Photo. Surely it has to be the photo, right? I don't think it can be any, any anything else. Who's the culprit? He is. But what if he didn't? Oh, what if he didn't though? Hold on, what if he didn't do the other, the other things? No, no, no. Hold on, what do we got? Do we have any evidence that maybe the Fink wasn't hired by him? Death threat. There's never been a case. Yeah, okay, that was totally. The knife. Did he have. Hold on. 
It's either the death heart or the knife. Never been a case where Fink art okay, where Fink uses the etched death heart. I mean I guess. So what about the Even if they did. You'll never find out who they are. There is nothing connecting Yaka. Is it this? Anonymous. No, okay, never mind then. Hold on. I think it is like the death threat then. Mm -hmm. Is there any suspicious evidence? Maybe something Fuzz had had that he shouldn't have. Speaking I'm gonna of think which. of it. The chief hit something in the corner, but why did he have it? Yeah. Did he? I mean, he hid the photo, but like, that's not. He's the one in the photo, of course. Uh, the knife? Maybe? I don't get it. Oh yeah, he had the map! Right, that was with him! Right? Hold on. He did. Did he though? Hold on. Okay, but hang on, hang on. Hang on. I mean, the map isn't gonna prove so that he has a map to anonymous. Even if they do, you'll never find out who they are. There is nothing connecting Yako to it. Okay, it was the map. Alright. Got him. Huh. Chief Yako tried to hide this floor plan along with that photo of himself. It was strange for him to have this in the first place. This is the link between Anonymous and the Chief! Kill you. Who are you? In the name of justice. Who? Kill you. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's gonna be this now. We haven't used it yet. Kill, 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 kill. Nice argument you have there. None of this doesn't exist. Yako wanted everything. He cares about some maps. Right, they're gonna say like, oh. Okay, I get it, I get it. They're gonna ask like, uh. Oh wait, that's not the son. Wait, sorry. There's, they're gonna say like, there's nothing to prove that there was even someone else there or whatever. And it's gonna be the shadowy figure. Is this Yomi? <laughs> Anyone can find it. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. It is Yomi. Look at him. The floor plan the chief had was from the Wait. lab storage. Did Yomi co- is that why he was being so pushy earlier? Did he cooperate with Yako on this? But that room was locked. No one could enter it. It was only the director of the peacekeepers had access. So, the only person who could have gotten that floor plan was... Peacekeeper Director Yomi. Yeah, I thought the voice sounded similar sped up. The anonymous person who gave Chief Yako the floor plan and pushed him to commit murder was- Yomi. Please, please tell me we can kill Yomi. Oh my god, that would be just the best. You, the director of the peace That would be amazing. Yomi, please smile. let us kill Yomi. Oh my god. Please. Are we gonna get- Do we have to do another Do No Mo? I hope not. Oh, is this where the castle minigame comes in? Are we gonna do it against Yomi? You were the mastermind. You were pulling the strings from behind the scenes. You instigated the chief to commit murder. <laughs> oh, you're the best. <laughs> I never thought someone as empty as me Oof. could feel so much emotion. So much hatred. This is the first time in my life <laughs> I felt this angry. You please let us kill Yomi. Oh my God. What did you do to drive the chief to murder? Answer me. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Just gonna keep laughing. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not telling you anything, idiot. Huh? So what if you figured it out? Who cares? It's too late now, you pathetic ingrates. Everyone died just as I planned. Now no one can stand in my way. No one can lay a hand on me. You should be grateful. I'm cleaning up this city. Wh what did you say? Master, what did he... I hate to admit it, but Yomi's right. Can we not kill him here? He's... I guess he didn't Why actually... Not? Why he didn't really work together in the process. He just instigated it. He manipulated Fuzzhead from behind the scenes. But he wasn't the one who murdered the doctor. That didn't stop freaking uh, all, all three of the other girls from... And also, you know, that, that didn't stop them from getting all killed. This mystery That's not fair! For the murder of Dr. Hueska. I guess Yomi was, Yomi was much less directly involved than uh, the Chapter 2 thing. Then what can we do? He has to pay for what he did! Uh, now's not the time we for that. We can't do anything! That's why I'm freaking out too! So, exposing the truth would be pointless? Then why have we been seeking it all this time? The truth no, is No, we have the truth. We can use it later I'm in still. I'm charge in Kanai Ward. I have to laugh. Who could have guessed things would go so well? Yako Furio was a pain in the ass. The only reason I kept him alive is for this moment. He didn't even realize I was manipulating oh him into God. killing the doctor for me. How stupid can you be? Oh. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Master, time's up. The mystery labyrinth is about to be destroyed. <laughs> and he's still going at it. All right, Nagito. Oh, we get it. If only we had found out what he was up to sooner, we might have been able to stop him. Still, I should be able to bring this memory back into the real world. I'll remember this confession. I'm not sure if it'll help, but I'll interrogate him once we return to the real world. I'm not sure that will help either. It doesn't matter. I'll cover it all up. You're all nothing but scum beneath my feet. I'm untouchable. And now I'm going to dispose of you like the trash you are. That's scary. <laughs> Um, and back to the real world we go. Well, that was something. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, hurry up! Execute these scumbags immediately. Criminals have no rights. Mother, you will pay for this. What's with that look? Are you seriously going to defy me? Well, I don't care. You're all going to die now. This is real bad, Master. He's serious. We do. Wait. Director Yomi Hellsmile. Mm. We know all about your secret dealings with Dr. Weska. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, oh shit! Did you say something? Ripped. I thought he got shot for a second there. Kill the loudest Jeez. One of you first. Okay, that's scary. Go Who's ahead. Doing? I can't hear you. Come on, who wants to be the first to die? Mm. Damn it. We have to get out of here, but how? What do we do? <sighs> Alright, who's gonna save us now? 
Makoto. I guess I'll just kill both of you at Halara the same again. time. Oh, oh wow, dual wielding now. To a thing we say. If he was the real culprit, I'd both kill him. And I'd be really happy for the first time. Exactly how he wants. Solving the case didn't help anything. Somebody help. Oh god. Goodbye. Hope you enjoy the worst nightmare of your life as you die. What's it gonna be? The only one who will be having nightmares is you. That's Makoto. Ayo. How you doing? You. I thought you went back to the surface. Wait, are you, you gonna show the map? Are you gonna show him what your face looks like? Well, you Talking about nightmares. There's something I want you to see. What is that briefcase? Oh no, it's a. What do you think of this? Huh? What's that file? What's in there? Is that the, is that the folder that was missing? But then Makoto go get it. Oh, <laughs> don't tell me. Yomi's cane. Oh yeah, you're right. He has the freaking whip cane. How did you get that? Most of the secret deals you've been making over the years are listed here. Oh. Looks like someone's been cooking the books. Oh, Makoto, you've been cooking while we have while we've been gone. You conspired with Dr. Weska and leaked Amaterasu's technology to other national enterprises. And with the money you obtained, you bribed the right people to control this city. Lies! You made that all up! Hey! I don't care if he is the CEO. Arrest this masked freak! We can't let this outsider barge in here and take control of this city! Capture him, execute him, chop his head off, crush his skull! God. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you just standing there? Makoto is awesome, dude. If you're scared, then I'll offer a bounty. Whoever kills him gets 100 million shin! They're not even gonna do it. They, he's still the CEO. Why won't you obey me? He's using false information to tear the peacekeepers apart. The fuck you? You want that? You'll all be out of a job. Kanai Ward is better off without people like him. This city's fallen into ruin ever since he showed up. Now follow my orders. This city doesn't belong to him. It belongs to me, the great Yomi! Oh, man, I've never seen Yomi lose it like this. This is I'm satisfying. Sorry, Yomi. Whoa, 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 what? Wait, you didn't get cubed! Oh my god, Martina! You, Martina, you're alive? Martina didn't- Oh, did Makoto save her? Makoto stopped the execution oh. order issued. I am here today, thanks to him. Oh, hell yes, Martina! Martina is right. Oh, I never thought Con I'd see I her again. Belongs to everyone who lives here. Oh. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> it is so good to see Martina alive. Should he got me? Probably best to stay quiet and watch for now. Yeah, might not want to intervene here. So, you're on that freak side now? Yeah, excuse me for not. Oh, the big guy is with Makoto too. The guy who liked punishment. I won't stand for this. You're a member of the peacekeepers. I won't allow such insubordination. Director Yomi, there's something I'd like to say to you. Oh my god. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> yes. You have the right to consult with a lawyer. Oh my god, wow. You do right. this time. Your reign is over, Yomi Hell Smile. Oh, Martina. Getting now, a revenge. Everyone, arrest the offending suspect. Please. Do not be too rough. Even criminals have rights. Oh, the wow! You really turn back, huh? Heel face turn. I guess she realized after. I guess she realized how corrupt everything was after Yomi ditched her. Oh Mark my God! My words, I am. There's no way this is over yet. Yomi Hell Smile will be back. You probably will. <laughs> and when I am, I'll kill you. I'll rip you to pieces for taking everything from me! Oh, this scene works very well. I like that you can't, like, see Makoto's expression through the mask. You're all dead. I'll kill every last one of you! As we discussed before, upon receiving his punishment, 
I hereby resign from my role in the Peacekeepers. I'm happy she got, like, a happy ending in the end. You don't have to. I must. This is my way of taking responsibility as his accomplice. Well, Chief Executive Makoto, I hope you will see to the rest. Wow, that was nice. Sorry for causing Anyway, so Vivia's trouble. Jesus Christ. That should settle things for now. Um, what's going on? While the peacekeepers had their hands full with the lab incident, I snuck into Yomi's room and looked around. <laughs> and there, I found this file. It's all thanks to you. Don't tell me. You meant to bring us here to be a decoy from the start? It was all just a series of coincidences. Yeah, I mean, I suppose even without, like, Yako's interference and stuff, Makoto still wanted to use Yuma's presence as a way to go get the file. Looks like I wasn't able to die once again. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe someday. At least things worked out. That was really oh dangerous. my god. I thought you were done for, Master. Okay, listen. Makoto showing up really saved us. Though it seems like he was using me and the others. Uh that pisses me off. Let's give him a piece of our minds. All right. If yeah. Oh my God! Can you shut up? I'm sorry. I talk to him. <laughs> I'm trying to do the, the outro. I think maybe. So, uh, I'm gonna cut the video off here. I I'm gonna do my regular outro just in case. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. And if the end of chapter five is way too like short and fast coming from here, then I'll just cut that into this video. If not, then uh, yeah, this will be the end of the episode. So next time we're gonna talk to Makoto. Uh, we're gonna process everything that just happened. I am recording this on a different day. So uh, if I'm, I don't know how much how sh how much longer this chapter has left. So if we finish the chapter in very like short from now, then I'll just cut this into the last video. Otherwise, uh, we'll see. So yeah, let's talk to Makoto over here. Uh, we got <laughs> we solved the mystery, and I hate that we did because the truth hurts yet again. It was terrible, and Yako's probably dead already. Yeah, Sorry Yako's definitely dead. Happened, Chief Yako. Yeah. <laughs> With Yomi gone, there's a change in the winds of Kanai Ward. I mean, yeah, also that! We got... Martina came back! And she had the resistance against Yomi, which was amazing. Even through the endless downpour. Completely forgot about that part. I will rebuild that was this awesome. city from the ground up. Because... I love this city more than anyone else. I'm still not entirely sure how much I trust you, but I yeah, well, see. whatever, it's fine for now. By the way, how did your investigation at the secret lab go? Did you find what you were looking for? No. You know, the so-called immortal monster, the homunculus. Hell no. No, I didn't find anything. We didn't even think about that Maybe for the mo are just most of the rumors. time here. I don't know. Let me know if you'd still like help in your search. If it's within my power, I'll permit you detectives to search anywhere in Kanai Ward. Thanks. Well, I need to get going. You should return to your friends. Oh man, how are we gonna confront them now? I'm sure they're worried about you. Let's go. Plus, you need to tell everyone what happened to Fuzzhead. I'm sure they already know at this point. They were right there with his body. They probably... S Halara was, like, checking his pulse and stuff, so they probably already know he's dead. Oh, one more thing. Oh? I have a gift for you, my friend. <laughs> Will you marry Express me? <laughs> my gratitude. <laughs> it looks like a wedding ring. What is A gift? That looks like a wedding ring box. Kanai Ward will be reborn. There's Thanks probably something you. really important and cool in there. I haven't done anything. No, that's not true. Please, accept the gift. We're friends, aren't we? Oh, but don't open it yet. It's a bit of a surprise. Sure. All right, I guess. Okay. See you later. It's a bomb! <laughs> it's a pipe bomb! Alright, how are we gonna look at the- Oh, look, you're still trying. He's back! Yeah, hi guys. Are you alright? We saw a bunch of peacekeepers heading that way. Well, how did the investigation go? The case is- Closed. Closed? Really? Oh my god, we're gonna have to tell them. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Hello? 
Now the chief can rest without any regrets. Of course, Halara figured all this out. They're the best. Rest? Wait. Do you mean the chief? Yeah. Wait. You're joking, right? He passed away quite a while ago. I don't think Halara knows that the chief was the culprit. I was hoping he would live until Yuma and the others returned. But there was nothing we could do. Ugh. A while ago? And that means he was dead before the mystery labyrinth. Yeah, wow. Well, I mean, hey. Again, as I said, at least that means we don't have to live with the guilt of being the ones to finish it off. <laughs> oh, Yuma. No, it can't be. Chief Yako, please, tell me you're only sleeping. Oh, I'm gonna miss Yako a lot. Now, so please, open your eyes. She can't. Stop it. There's no need to keep pestering the chief. But... I wish I could do something too. He's dead. As a detective, you should understand that. I can't believe he's actually like, gone just like that. Man. No, I'm gonna cry. Dude, Fubuki's crying is gonna make me cry. I'm serious. Don't suck like a baby. The voice acting too. I wanna cry too, but <laughs> Damn it. Why am I crying too? Almost. Oh, just so you can god. Was he already dead? Or was it due to the mystery labyrinth? We'll never know. I'm just gonna hope it's the former. <laughs> I think I'll head home now. My yeah. business here is done. You know what? You do that. I'm so sorry for suspecting you so much, Vivian. As usual, he's like an emotionless robot. Stop. Vivian. Oh. Man, again, Vivian remembered the mystery labyrinth too. If you remember the whole confrontation we had. Man. We should head back too. With the chief, of course. Now what do we do from now? Now that Yako's gone, we don't we you know, we lost pretty much our leader. Even though he didn't really do that much, he was still the one keeping us all together. He was the one who brought us together in the first place. I cannot wait to read that book. Maybe find out more about why Yako did this, more about his motives, about like, you know, about that woman in the photo. That's probably going to be answered in that. No, not the roof. This is where we first met. Oh. Master. This is where he first took us. us get you down? When he hired us. I know you're shocked that Buzzhead was the culprit. But you and I solved it together, so shouldn't we be celebrating? Listen, I mean... Solved it? Yes, we did learn the truth. But it didn't resolve anything. What's the point of Look solving at something in the back. <laughs> if it doesn't save anyone? In the end, we still don't know why the chief did it. How could you even consider it solved? I understand why you're upset. All right, I'll leave you alone for now. Well, Kurumi. Yuma. Right, forgot about you. I thought you'd be here. Oh. Kurumi. Hey, I just promised I'd give him some alone time. Listen, this <laughs> is. Are you sure you should be walking around alone at this hour? I heard about Chief Yako. Hey, Yuma. Did we make a mistake? If we didn't try to find that secret lab, maybe Chief Yako would still be alive. Honestly, I don't know about that. He did already... He already knew where the lab was, clearly, because we never told him, and he still, like, managed to get the death threat and stuff. I guess maybe I Halara found it. I don't know if it. what we did was right or wrong. But, I mean, what happened, way, happened. There's really I no way to... it would have ended like this eventually. Hmm. I'm glad to see that you've returned safely. Thank you. 
To tell the truth, while you were at the lab, I looked into Chief Yako's past oh? a bit. Was he, did he work at Amaterasu? That's what it looked like from that photo. Huh? I was just curious. Do you remember that talk on the summary? Whoa, why did that happen? That's not supposed to happen. What was that lag? To me, this town is my yes, life. Yes, I remember this. This my is a while past, ago. My fun memories, they're all right here. Or was it, actually? Because Kurumi was there. Wasn't it not a while ago? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it just looks like a while ago. <laughs> I just wanted to protect the happiness I found within arm's reach. But it wasn't easy. It was too much for me to handle on my own. And as a result, I lost everything. I was an empty shell until you all came along. In short... Honestly, props to, um... You would props to Kaiji Tang, his voice actor. Like, he did so well in the role. You can really hear, like, how choked up he was in that scene. Like, his regrets and stuff. It was great. The chief lost his wife four years ago. She was a researcher at Amaterasu's lab. The chief's wife? Yeah. Was an Amaterasu right. researcher? Mm -hmm. On top That's of what that, it looked like. His wife's death was declared an accident. But? But there seems to be more to the story. At the time, the lab's head researcher was suspected of leaking technological information. It was the chief's wife that blew the whistle. If what she said was true, he would have been removed. But on the day before the commission came to investigate, an experiment went wrong and exploded. Oh, that's way her. too convenient. It's obvious that someone was trying to silence her. Yeah, Chief Yako probably suspected that too. He was conducting his own investigation. I wonder if we'll get to- again, I'm wondering about that di digital novel. I wonder if we'll get to, like, actually see her as a character in that. If we do, it'll be really sad, because we'll just know she's gonna die. In the end, I don't know what conclusion he reached. So that's who the Chief wanted to protect most. Mm. It's what he meant when he said he lost everything. And the person his wife accused was... The doctor? Weska. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. Weska. So that explains why Yaku would have wanted to kill him. Do you know who that is? Does, does Kurumi not know about the case? Like, oh yeah, because she wasn't there. Kurumi doesn't know anything about what happened in there. I didn't even register no, that. It doesn't ring a bell. Aww. It's getting late. Let's head back to the detective agency. The chief's final words. I think they were actually meant for himself. Yeah, the truth is cruel. Oh. Never in history has the truth. This final been known speech to be kind. is gonna make me sad every time. But you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. So really, what's the point of worrying so much about it? When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. But I think he was wrong. Because everyone is mourning you, Chief. Oh my god. Chief. I've made up my mind. No matter how cruel it may be, I will expose the truth hidden in this city. Let's go! We're heading in. We're in the end game now. I'm pretty sure we're reaching the end of the game. Soon enough. Chapter 5 is when hey, things start. Did you come up with this dish yourself? Oh yeah, this guy! So I completely forgot we were like wondering about this dude thank you and how this mysterious man seems to have some kind of connection to you must pass cooking is all i'm really good at after all you yeah, well, come on let's go are you hungry can i make you something at the agency well i guess i haven't eaten in a while let's get noodles from this dude we gotta what? talk to him this flatty is gonna mix something dangerous into your food i suggest you stay far away mm-hmm <sighs> All right. Still don't know what Shinigami's well, deal is with, with you, Kurumi, but... 
Aww. They're cute. I like these two. Vivian! something in the kitchen she seems rather considerate she's a nice girl <laughs> yeah i wish you'd be more considerate to me so yeah vivia hey buddy you remember all the stuff that we went through together in there because i'm pretty sure he brought them out yuma does light shine into your world yeah now that you've obtained the truth. Oh man, it's really weird that he actually has his memories back, given the fact that none of the others did. I... don't know. It's like you said. I feel as though the world's ended. I tried so hard to find the truth. Should I not have done that? You should ask yourself that. Tomorrow. The you of tomorrow. Will have an answer for the you of today. As usual, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Vivia. You know what, this chapter, uh, I honestly feel so bad for suspecting Vivia the entire time, because he was just great in this chapter, and he was innocent completely. <laughs> <laughs> he did nothing wrong. Although he was planning to kill me last chapter, but it's fine, he didn't do it in the end. <laughs> oh? What's that? It was hidden in the drawer of the chief's desk. It seems like a letter. Anonymous. anonymous. Oh. -ho. Anonymous? That anonymous? Yomi? Oh. Of course, he didn't know Anonymous was Yomi. Of course. This letter mentioned this the was truth about... behind his wife's oh, death. Oh, Yomi. Four years ago. Oh, I hate Yomi so much. The truth? It describes how Dr. Weska yeah. conspired to murder her. The facts were laid out. Cold and calculated. I wonder, how did the chief feel when he read it? It's not hard to imagine him burning with a desire for revenge Man. against Dr. Weska. What did, what did Yomi hope to achieve with getting Dr. Weska killed anyway? Like, what was the point? I don't get it. Dr. By Weska way, was one of their most valuable researchers. right after I was dispatched to Kanai Ward. <laughs> so he's been in thinking about words, this for a while. The motive and means were both in the chief's hands. So the letter was the trigger. In my ghost form, I've seen the chief staring at this letter in secret many times. You knew! Back then, I didn't know what he was reading. Mm. But I know the chief was thinking about it constantly. Perhaps the map of the lab was sent together with this letter. If so, then it was a total setup. I'm sure the chief deeply regretted using our fortes as part of his crime. Or maybe that's just the truth I seek. Maybe it's nothing more than wishful thinking. You might be right. I think the chief wavered back and forth the whole time. Yeah, I agree. Some people think Vivia is cold-hearted. But I yeah. think he cared deeply for the chief. I'm starting. I, I definitely understand Vivia's character a lot better after this chapter too. He really did mm. admire him. Well, I think he's terrible at showing it. He needs to work on his facial expressions at the very least. That he does, but oh well. <laughs> By the way, Yuma. Yomi definitely was the mastermind who worked in the shadows to put this together. But why? With that aside. There's one more person I'm curious about. Oh? You mean Makoto Kagutsuchi? Yeah, I know. I still can't get a read on him. I don't know whether to trust him or not. He seems nice enough, and he seems like he actually cares about the future of the city. He wants to, like, defeat Yomi or whatever. But, hmm. I don't know. I feel something tells me he's gonna end up being, like, the big twist villain at the end of the game. He's gonna turn on us. Hmm, I don't Do you know. Think it was a coincidence he brought me to the lab today? Or. Oh, Did he know phone. about what was going to happen in there? It's a call from the WDO. We should go back inside. Is it your boy number one? Is he here? 
Amazing physique, number one. Oh, yeah, it's number one! Well, I love that the loading screen gives you a little hint as to what's to come. He's coming. I mean, he's gonna be on the screen again, but I wonder if he'll ever actually show up in person once. I still don't know what his forte is. Hey! I know about Yako Furio. <laughs> okay, wow, just bringing it right out. Who could have suspected that a proud detective of the WDO would commit murder? You better not start blaming him. <sighs> he doesn't know anything. Oh. If only the World Detective Organization had sent support to Kanai Ward sooner. Stop it. There's no point in saying that now. I can hear you. Enough idle talk. <sighs> Focus. The only thing a detective must do is solve cases. I get that, but like... Concentrate on solving mysteries. Emotions will only shackle you as a detective. This dude reminds me of friggin' Kyoko's grandfather. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect Art. solution through a perfect deduction. Alright. <sighs> Are you Fuhito Kirigiri? I think that was his name, right? I know you're suffering from the loss of your chief. The investigation must continue. Until Kanai Ward's ultimate secret is revealed, the great global mystery will never be solved. Is that all you came here to say? These are heavy responsibilities. It demands your complete attention. In that case, please tell us. What is the great global mystery? Many master detectives have already been killed. Keeping us in the dark could lead to more deaths. Question, why do we need the phone? Like, he can clearly hear us already through the screen since Desuhiko was he was able to hear Desuhiko and Fubuki from all the way over there. What is the point of the phone? Why are you speaking into it? Like what happened to our chief? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well. All right, it's time. The great global mystery is a mass kidnapping case. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Kidnapping? Okay, never mind that theory I had earlier. I think maybe Fubuki, uh, Fubuki no, Kurumi's grandfather might have been kidnapped here then, huh? Yes, countless people from around the world have been kidnapped and taken to Kanai Ward. We are searching for the heinous criminal responsible. Hold on. Heinous criminal? Hold on. Lots of people have been taken to Kanai Ward? But where could they gather that many people in this city? Hi. Huh? Well... I have an idea. Huh? Seriously? Alright, Halara, Halara. Halara's the best, man. Yep, let's do it. The restricted area. Yeah. They could gather all the kidnapped people there. But you're right. Mm. That would be the perfect place to hide them. I was planning on discussing it later, but there is some new information about that place. Is there? It appears that the restricted area does, in fact, have a corpse disposal facility. Oh yeah! Wait, didn't Makoto tell us about this? However, there are lots of rumors about the restricted area. Oh wait, no, yeah, it's Kurumi not. told us about the rumor. Even say it's a corpse right. disposal facility. Yeah. Where bodies from Kane Ward are dumped off. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're gonna have to go <laughs> in there. True. Mm-hmm. In Kanai Ward. Corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the Jesus. restricted area for disposal. But that process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. Makoto! On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried, and who buries them, is a mystery. All of this secrecy around the burials. It's suspiciously cautious. Yeah, what are they doing? The CEO what are they doing with the bodies, the right? huh? Does he have something to do with the corpse burials? But how is the global kidnapping case related to a corpse disposal facility? I know! They are forcing the kidnapped people to bury the bodies! I doubt it. Why bother kidnapping just for that? Anyway, there's definitely something happening in the city. Something sinister. We just don't know what it is. While we're at it, perhaps I should share the information I've obtained as well. Oh? Wait, huh? 
You got something too? That anemic vampire knows something. Wait a minute. I sure wish we Why didn't you tell us already, Vivi? I, I mean, I guess he was waiting for this. to do with what's going on here. But while I was using spectral projection to search for the secret lab, I kept hearing about a strange rumor in town. <laughs> Boy, everything's coming together, There's huh? It's a taboo among Kanai Ward's residents. Something they must never discuss in front of outsiders. Not the Crimson Rain. <laughs> taboo. He's probably the only one who could have learned that. I doubt anyone would mention it in front of detectives. So what was it about? The Blank Week Mystery. Oh. Uh -huh. The Blank Week What does that mystery? mean, Blank Week? You mean like a week, an entire week that's just missing from the calendar? Unfortunately, all I know is its name, and that it's taboo to mention it in Kanai Ward. Well. Huh? That's it? I don't get it. Well, it does sound ominous. Maybe it has something to do with the mass kidnapping and the restricted area. But all we have to go on is the term. The Blank Week Mystery is taboo in Kanai Ward. What the heck does Blank Week mean? I wonder if Kurumi has heard about it. Right, maybe. I should ask her after this meeting with number one. She's an informant who may be hiding information. If that's true, we'll have to torture the info out of her. Okay. <laughs> the great global mystery in the restricted area, the Blank Week mystery. I feel like all of this is going to be answered like next chapter. And a heinous criminal pursued by the WDO. After coming this far, we're still discovering more mysteries. How are they all connected? What is going on in Kanai Ward? Listen closely, oh boy. detectives. If this case is ignored, more people will right. fall victim. Weird pauses, weird dubbing. All right, all right. You are the only ones who can stop it. The World Detective Organization never overlooks a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. There's some weird choppiness going on As always, right now. We are aiming for a perfect solution. Why is there no music? I feel now like they could just cut. Kind of... in this case, I will guide us to that end. All right. Bad lip syncing still applies. Oh. Go forth, proud detectives. Um. Why is it cut off? Eliminate all miss. Whoa! 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 whoa. What? Well, he's dead. What's going on? He's dead. What was that flash? Uh number one, I heard an explosion. Yeah, I saw an explosion. What's that? Another branch. Wait, he's alive? He's talking? Flash. Alright, give me the video feed. He's alive. We bring you breaking news. The WDO well, headquarters has been struck oh, by a terrorist shit. bombing. Here's live footage from the scene. You can see the fierce fire consuming it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure number one's dead. <laughs> For those of you just tuning in. The terror attack? The WDO. Makoto, what did you do? What's going on? <laughs> I am suspecting him immediately. What is this? What is happening? They went for the main this building, is... huh? Oh? Huh? What's happening? Are we getting then all oh, the box? What is that? What is this? Makoto, you son of Harumi, help out! I don't know Everyone, if you can do anything. Hold your breath. I wanna <laughs> die God, Vivia. Someday. Oh, motherfucker. Makoto! Oh, Kurumi just came into the room and just, Okay, fine. You, you could've, like, ran away when you saw the gas, but alright. <laughs> wow! That was a thing! And that's the end of The Imperfect Insider. Yeah, I'm going to cut this into the, the episode 31, because this isn't enough for an entire video. So, wow, Makoto, piece of shit. <laughs> Cannot believe this. SS. S. All right, I'm probably going to get like a B on something. I don't know. C. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well, I mean, it worked out. And we ranked up. Oh, yeah. Did I even get like, there's plenty of skill points that I can still get. 
So, next time on Rain Code, what the hell is happening? I don't know. <laughs> Cannot wait to find out. Uh, all the mysteries are on the table now. We're ready. To, we're reaching the end game, I think. We're at, we're at most two chapters away from the end because that's in Dragon Rump, it's usually six. So, yeah. Until then, see you next time. Bye bye.